Hello guys, hello people. Welcome back to this wonderful platform, MC Potoski Talk Show. Yeah, on Facebook and also on YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time zone. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are welcome to this great platform where we react to all videos that comes our way and bring you guys latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. So guys, I bring you guys the latest happening today. I'm going to leave you to play so that you guys will still watch this video and also drop your comments at the comment section what you think about this video. But before we dive into this video, look at the top here. If it's your first time on this great platform, please consider to subscribe and also put on some bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platform so guys just watch the video and i will be right back the indigenous people of biafra on tuesday claimed to be in talks with the united nations to hold a referendum for a sovereign state of biafra in a statement by the group's media and publicity secretary ima powerful the group is making efforts for the referendum any moment soon adding that residents within the biafra territory and those living beyond the boundaries of biafra will be able to determine their own fate the group expects the united nations to supervise the referendum and are calling for freedom for all and not just for biafrans alone I mean, this is another, what do you call it, Brexit? <laughs> yes. What, I mean, how is it possible to have a sovereign state without any form of, you know, partition? I mean, I would like to know, how does that work? It's possible. Okay. You can have, these are called, there are different types of referendums. These are, this ones are called independence referendums. And an independence referendum does not actually need the consent of the national government. Mm -hmm. What tends to happen is if there's some kind of separatist movement, and that separatist movement get support maybe at an election, they can now use that momentum to demand a referendum, not even of the national, or in our case, the federal government, just of their own people. Okay. They put a question on the ballot and people answer the question and they vote. And the United Nations will not call a referendum. Every country has their sovereignty. The United Nations will supervise, they'll observe, if they're told to, they'll monitor a referendum if they're asked to. The United Nations is also relevant if the referendum succeeds and maybe the national government doesn't want to apply, you know, the results of the, of the referendum, the United Nations can come in and, and recognize that country as an independent country to okay. give that referendum credence. So, yeah. So then what happens to the people that are not in support of the sovereign state of Biafra that are in that territory as well? What happens I'm speaking to... hypothetically. Yes. The referendum might not even happen because, like I said, it usually happens on the back of a popular movement. There has to be some momentum. You can't just wake up and have a referendum. Like if there's an election, for example, and let's say, I don't know, a particular political party, a separatist party, wins all the states, then from there you can now use that momentum to call for a referendum. Right now that has not happened. Yes. So if at all the referendum does happen, if people vote to no, then votes will be counted, then it's no, and they stay in Nigeria. But if there's an overwhelming yes or a majority yes, then they leave, mm. if at all the federal government allows it. And right. the United That's Nations and the international community rally around the right. new states. Well, they have claimed that it's going to be a whole a peaceful process. I don't know how that's going to be, but I think that we can come back to continue on this oh, discussion. Let's take a Dr. short Mati. break. When we return, I will give you my views sure. on that. The issue All of right. the referendum. Well, before we went on break, we were talking about the request of the uh, uh, indigenous, IPO, people, indigenous of peoples of Biafra through Emma Powerful, the secretary, asking uh, for a referendum to be uh, organized by the United Nations. Now, the subject we're dealing with, basically, is self-determination. Self-determination, uh, you know, is an internationally recognized right by various UN conventions. Uh, whether you are talking about Kosovo, or you are talking about East Timor, or you are talking about uh, Cameroon. And it is indeed true that the United Nations can supervise referendums. The right of a people to determine their own future, to determine their own sovereignty. Now, two examples. In February 1961, uh, the UN supervised the referendum to determine uh, whether Northern Cameroon or Southern Cameroon would join Nigeria or join Cameroon. And that referendum was conducted. At the end of the day, when the votes were tallied, people can vote yes or no. At the end of it, 
Northern Cameroon joined Nigeria. Southern Cameroon, <coughs> led by Endeli Anko, joined uh, uh, Cameroon, the French-speaking uh, Cameroon. Now, this was the uh, decision over the British-occupied uh, part of uh, Cameroon at the time. In 1999, it was East Timor, and it was the president of uh, Indonesia at the time who approached the United Nations uh, to allow the people of East Timor to decide whether they would like to have special autonomy within Indonesia or have their own independence. And of course, they rejected special autonomy within, independent, uh, within Indonesia. In 2002, East Timor became uh, independent on its own. And then you have the example of Kosovo and all of that. But whatever happens, there is no way that the United Nations can do a referendum inside Nigeria over and above the head of a, an existing sovereign. That, that is the Nigerian question. government itself. Yes. Now, would there be a referendum in uh, Biafra, and how will it uh, pan out? I know that there are many agitators uh, from the eastern part of the country who say Nigeria has been unjust uh, to Igbos in the Nigerian Federation, that Igbos have been marginalized, because at the basis of uh, questions of self-determination, it's always about citizenship, it's always about justice, it's always about equity. Would they be able to get enough votes? Well, my gut feeling is that, look, most Igbos will probably not want to leave Nigeria. I may be wrong. And speaking for myself, I'd rather have Nigeria as it is, as a diverse nation, you know, as this rainbow nation, multicultural. And, I mean, uh, a Nigeria without Igbos uh, would, be, uh, would not be the same Nigeria. All right, but and then that, uh, Even if it is put to vote, that right. more Igbos would rather stay in Nigeria because Igbos are already, you know... Uh, uh, completely immersed yeah. in the Nigerian Federation. They are part of the fabric of this country. And I think that the ordinary Igbo man uh, does not share the same sentiments with Emma Powerful. Well, you uh, Thank you for watching that video. So, guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform you will be the first to see it and don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on facebook whatsapp and instagram and also on youtube so that everyone out there will see this video so guys see you guys some other time all social media platform on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube, so that everyone out there will see this video. So, guys, see you guys some other time.